So we're back again, with yet again another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we have done some Water Temple preparation. In this episode, we're going to take on the dungeon itself once and for all. We're going to break it down step by step. Uh, let me just say that there are some scandals kind of floating about saying that this dungeon is soft lockable. Let me just say that this dungeon is not, and I repeat, is not soft lockable. It is BS, don't believe it. But there is a key that is very easy to pass up. Okay, we're going to go over that. That is basically the equivalent of saying that a hand was severed, but in reality, the finger was just scraped. Terrible, I know. But hey, welcome to the Water Temple. And uh, I will say that, uh, notice that I off-screen just purchased some green potion and some fairies. Uh, yeah, I will be using Furore's Wind a bunch in this dungeon, so go ahead and trigger her right here, and this will be our return point for access. Alright? Awesome sauce. And yeah, there are some water level changing uh, principles in this dungeon, but hey, uh, I should be on the bottom east right now, but uh, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and secure one of the blocks here that you can pull and push uh, in this dungeon in reality. I'm going to go ahead and go on the top east here, go down on here, and just go ahead and drop on down here. And, you know, throwing them mire boots right there, and I'm bing, big, no, big, big, big. <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, go ahead and secure this block, just push it up, or pull it all the way in this... Little green square here, and there you go. Easy. Easy peasy. Very simple. Very, very simple. Alright. Go ahead and float our way on back up. And we're just gonna go on down and we'll float to the bottom east, and we're gonna meet somebody who is very snarky. I'm pretty sure we all know who it is from Jabba Jabba's belly. Hint. Uh, why do I try? But hey, uh, go ahead and throw on your iron boots here, and go ahead and sink down to the very bottom. Yeah. And, Link, I kind of knew that you were going to land there, but man, just don't prevent me from floating all the way down. Go ahead and drop all the way down, and, yep, this is the bottom east, so just take a right and float all the way down to the bottom, and deja vu time. Oh, you, if I'm right, LSP. You're LSP, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, princess of the Zoras. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. Oh, man. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's Domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's Domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. LSP, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me, quickly. And we will not see her again for a while. <laughs> but, hey, go ahead and follow her on up, and yeah. Straightforward, right? Um, But yeah, go ahead and... Yep, there is going to be a lot of pausing and unpausing in this dungeon, as I'm sure we've already seen it for, like, this... I'm out of, like, 26 years, like, the age of me, that is. And, yeah, I will say, in the 3DS version, there are some indicators on the walls here. See this? Yeah. This is a place where I can change the water level. There was an indicator on the 3DS version that shows where the water will stop and end. Here, you have to know where it ends. So, there is murals added in the 3DS version, so that's pretty cool. But, hey, easy enough, right? <laughs> Go into this door, and we're going to find some spike traps just kind of chilling in here. We're going to go ahead and obtain the dungeon map from this very room. Uh, on the Master Quest version, this is actually replaced with Stalfos instead. <laughs> so, if you're up to the challenge, go ahead. I am just breaking the boundaries of existence with the wall. I can just see exactly what's outside of it. But, yeah, on the Master Quest version on 3DS, and I believe the N64 version when it came out in 2003, it had Stalfos in this room. But in the regular version, it's just spike traps. So pretty cool. Dungeon map time, baby. Let's go ahead and crack this on open. Dungeon map, and what did I say? Yeah, we now have it. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to go ahead and drop down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my bow ready here. I could use... Uh, Din's fire as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the bow since it's going to save some magic, even though I already kind of pre-equipped 
uh, some green potion ahead of time before I even enter this dungeon, but I mainly saved it for Furore to win instead. But hey, it is what it is. But the reason that I'm doing this is so I can access this barred off room. Okay? Easy enough. Very easy. Hey, Clams, how's it going? Who's playing that music? He stole me dollar. Anyway, uh, I lost one. The episode where Mr. Krabs lost his first dollar. <laughs> but man. No, that was his one millionth dollar. I'm sorry. I corrected myself. <laughs> uh, Clamfish. I, I still wonder what that song was that they played on uh, when they like opened the curtains. But <laughs> anyway, this is your first small key, so there you go. Alright. Go ahead and exit. And we're going to go ahead and hang a left here when we exit. Uh, that was kind of a redundant word that I just used there. Exit, exit. But yeah, hang a left here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and get my bombs out. Yep, pausing and unpausing will be a thing. Okay. Very simple. Go ahead and equip those on out. And we're going to go right here and just boost this open. Very easy. Shaboom. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get, you actually can dive, but I'm going to go ahead and put my boots on anyway because I just feel like it. Since I was already paused to begin with. And I'm going to go ahead and unpause again. And do it, uh, do it again. Yep, it's very repetitive. It sucks, but hey, if you want to get the dun through the dungeon, you got to do what you got to do. Okay, I'll go ahead and press on this yellow switch here. This is going to rise up that snake head right in front of us. It's going to be a hook shot target that we can utilize right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And uh, yeah, I did mention, or, or I was going to mention that uh, the hello. <laughs> My big iron sword was uh, equipped, was unequipped. I'm gonna be using the massive sword a lot in this dungeon. Uh, more importantly, and also this is the 63rd skull to us. So go ahead and get this right behind the uh, crystal switch. And what I was also gonna say is that I'm gonna use this video as a baseline for for those who have not yet done the big iron sword quest because there is a mini boss in this dungeon that uh, is very cheesable if you do it with the big iron sword. Um, but we're not gonna do that. I'm going to fight the mini-boss the way that I think it should be fought with the Master Sword. The classic sword of all. <laughs> anyway, we got the small key from this room. And yep, this dungeon is really confusing based upon the order of the keys. This is where we're going to analyze the order and get it all down to a science. So we're going to go ahead and leave here. And we're going to go ahead and do the uh, this room. We're just going to go ahead and push this block. Okay. All the way over here. We're going to go ahead and push that straight. This is going to fall beneath the water. So, once we push this, there's no getting it back. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just the way it is. Make sure that falls down eventually. Right here. Yep. Very easy. Boots time, baby. Again. Sinking on down. This is going to be a whirlpool... Whirlpool... Whirlpool room. This is a, That's a tongue twister. Go ahead and remove your boots. And we're going to go ahead and float on up. Okay, very easy. Climbing on up, and this is going to be a crystal switch off to my right, so let's go ahead and uh, hit that. And this is going to be a water spout just kind of floating up above the floor. We're going to go ahead and jump on that and avoid that tektite. Okay, and right on here is going to be another small key that we can so-called get. And we have to jump into the whirlpool and then <sighs> pause right here and then put on our iron boots. The timing of this room can be kind of difficult, but uh, just follow along with what I'm doing. It should be fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that uh, crystal switch in that mouth there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hit this hook shot target because there's a timer in this room. And then unequip our boots again. All right, look how wonderful. Hey Clams, how's it going? You're not gonna chop me up today, man. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. But still, go ahead and open up on this chest and get the second small key. All right, awesome. Now we can return back to the warp point that we just created in the very beginning of the video, and I'm going to go ahead and use it again, right as we climb on up. So there you go. Very easy. Now, with the water all the way drained, we're going to go ahead and jump all the way down straight and utilize a key that is just very, very useful on this door right here. This area is going to raise the water halfway up. Now, this is the key that I'm talking about that is very easy to miss, and people just claim that this dungeon is soft lockable because of it. Um, again, I think that it's nonsense for people to just say that. Uh, don't blame it on the dungeon, it's really just uh, the sheer fact that this clue is very easy to miss. 
in this cutscene, so take a listen. Or take a watch, that is. See where that brown block just floated up? That is that is your only chance to see that clue. Uh, so go ahead and float down beneath the brown block that just kind of floated up next to me. There was a hole down there that you can go ahead and check out. So throw on your boots, and I do kind of find it cruel of Nintendo to like say, hey, if you didn't look at this on the first go, uh, you're, you're nuts. So it's all your fault for, for like missing this key to begin with. So I'm putting this on you, the player. It's all your fault. So now you can't progress. So again, it's why did I take the boots off? <laughs> Ugh. Forgive me. Forgive me and my nonsense. Hello? Stop pausing. Jesus. There we go. Now we can hit this crystal switch in this room. Watch here. Alright. And this big cluster of enemies is going to just fall down right in front of us. Go ahead and take these guys on out. Very easy. One by one. I did kind of like <laughs> say when I was a kid, uh, I like mistake these for dinosaur eggs for like some reason. But I was pretty close in, a, in a, another Zelda game because Zora eggs do happen to look just like those. If you happen to do that quest or that part in Majora's Mask. Uh, but yeah. The Great Bay segment was like insane to me. I, I really like that part. But go ahead and float on up here. Is my start button like spazzing out in this episode? So don't blame me there. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and get this chest right on up here. This is going to be another small key. All right. Now we can go ahead and return back to the warp point. I'm going to go ahead and use Furore's Wind again when we climb up because fast travel. Fast travel is a thing. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, now with the water halfway set, we're going to go ahead and get the compass in the dungeon, okay? Now, you can't get the compass when the water is all the way up or all the way down. It has to be exactly halfway. So, what I'm going to be doing is finding the area with the pots. The pots. Where are the pots? The pots. There's the pots. Right here. Find the area halfway with the pots and go ahead and hook shot your way on across. And I will say that this is probably the hardest compass to get in any Zelda game that I've played. And you'll see why in a second. Uh, but, go ahead and... Roll your way on through here, and we're going to go ahead and hook shot on up here. And you see that water spout? Yeah. It's going to come into play very, very soon. So, hello. Go ahead and hook shot up there, Link. Don't give me any problems, please. <laughs> anyway, um, this room is actually designed for when you have the long shot in the dungeon, but you can go ahead and use your arrows anyway. So, yeah. And there is a clock on this spout, and it's very, very fast. So make sure you open up the chest very, very fast. There you go. <laughs> First try, though. And we have the compass, baby. We're, we're comping that ass. Anyway, I am not going to say that again. Uh, forgive me and my bad, bad learning words from other... The, 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 the bad words. <laughs> anyway. Now we can go ahead and head down to the bottom east. Okay. Or, actually, actually, no. We're here already. We're here already. Go ahead and throw on the boots. Uh... We're going to go ahead and float up to where we met Ruto and go halfway up and bomb open a wall that was just in the room when we floated up the, for the first time. We saw it. Um, but yeah, go ahead and go all the way. I went in a circle. I went in a circle. This way, with the torches. Again, pausing and unpausing is a thing. So that's one of the downsides about the Water Temple. You got to keep pausing and unpausing. I really wondered, like, why didn't they make the Iron Boots an equipable item to X, Y, or Z? Why do, they, why do they put it in the start menu? That's kind of like the one thing that confused me about Ocarina of Time. So, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but I wish they would have, like, done some things a little bit simpler. So, again, forgive me on that one. Alright, and we have the third small key. We're going to go ahead and use Fror's Wind again, and use it again. <laughs> the emphasis there. But still, go ahead and climb on back up. You see why I had green potion on on the backup? Yeah. I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to be able to need it. Be it. Not going to need it. Being able to need something is a totally different saying, but still. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock the door halfway to the left. So, now we have the, the compass and the map. We can go ahead and utilize them on the bottom right there. So, yeah. Pretty simple. Go ahead and unlock this. And there is a vantage point where I can go ahead and raise the water level all the way up again. There is a tech tide that's going to fall right on top of me. Yep, I saw you coming, man. 
And we go ahead and hit that crystal switch there. And we're going to go ahead and all go on all, all, all the way up. All, all, all the way up. I can't complete words in this episode, but <laughs> sadly. Go ahead and bust our old ocarina here. And we're going to go ahead and play the Song of Lime again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> go ahead and play Zelda's... I said the Song of Lime and Lube the Song of Time, but this is just Zelda's lullaby. <laughs> Why did I even say that? But still, go and raise the water all the way up. There you go. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and run all the way to this side. All the way to the west. And there is going to be a escalator part right in this segment. Okay. But fear not, because we only need the hook shot here. Not the long shot, but the hook shot. I'll go ahead and bust that out on that. Right over right, right there. Okay. I'm too yeah. Link. Uh, can I still make it? I can still make it. Okay. I didn't mean to fall down there, but still, it, it happened. It happened anyway. Go ahead and bust your way on it through here. And go uppity up. All the way. And one more time should make it. Uh. That would have been perfect if I would have, like, aimed, like, one inch lower, but still. This is the water temple after all, so. With this key, we can go ahead and roll our way on through here. And yeah, water room time. <laughs> Still. This one you kind of like have to reset and reset that switch over and over again. But I don't know why I jumped into the water here. But tech tight. Screw off, man. There we go. We're going to go ahead and hook shot right on here. And we're going to go ahead and lower it again. While I'm in here, I may as well share a story. I did actually think that I saw Flock the Dungeon uh, as a kid when I first played the game for the very, very first time, because I did forget a key. I kind of even fell for the nonsense that people are kind of spurring around today. But, hey, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's just a mistake that I made. I kind of, like, dropped the controller and said, you know what? It's gotta be just me. Why am I missing something? Am I the one that's just kind of, like, oblivious to a clue here? But what am I missing? So, again, acknowledge what I'm doing and the mistakes that I'm actually committing. So, there you go. And with this room kind of out of the way, we can just go ahead and take these tech tights on out. And, yep, just beyond this door is going to be the mini boss that everyone, everyone loves. Like, like, leave me alone. We're going to go ahead and take him on out. Now, I'm not going to lie, you can cheese the hell out of this mini boss if you have the big iron sword uh, used against him. But, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and fight this boss the way that I think that it should be fought with the classic master sword of all time. This room is beautiful. I really like it. But it's going to be not so beautiful in just a second because we're going to be fighting in it. Yep. See that tree? That is our mirage. Our maker. Our mortal enemy. Dark Link. Yep. Dark LSP. I really love how they named it after me. Conquer yourself. But this is the baseline for those who have not done the Big Iron Sword quest yet, but are in this dungeon and have this minimal amount of health, don't L-target, but go ahead and slice in his vicinity. Eventually, you should be able to hit his back through him, so, yeah. And don't stab like this in front of him when you're L-targeting, because if you do that, watch. He's going to jump on top of your sword and utilize your uh, lack of attention. But go ahead and just slice in his vicinity, and you'll be just fine.
I did take a little bit of a beating there, but <laughs> hey, uh, that is how you're able to do it if you're uh, not out targeting him at all. But man, I did kind of take a beating there, so I'm gonna go ahead and find some health uh, right here eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and use a fairy on myself just because of my negligence to even use the big orange sword, but I didn't want to cheese it there. I kind of wanted to like test the waters and really draw out the pain and suffering that Dark LSP was gonna like suffer against me, but hey. The item of the dungeon, here it is. We have the long shot, baby. Yep, the upgraded hook shot. It extends twice as far. And we're gonna go ahead and play the Song of Lime here instead. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna go ahead and play it. And you don't want to be standing on this block either. If you stand on it, it's not gonna work. So there you go. Off to the side. All right, and with that, there's going to be some vortexes down here, and Navi's going to say and just pretend that it's my first time seeing them. Don't get swallowed by the vortexes. Yep, i got to firmly grasp the concept with my mind. Firmly grasp it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and equip the long shot here in just a second because we're going to be utilizing that right here because there's the 65th skull tour. Yep, no, 64th, I'm sorry. Forgive me in my nonsense. Blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and equip the boots. And we're right here. We're out right here. Hey, Skulltool, how's it going? You kind of do have to wait for the long shot to, like, load under the, underneath the water. So, there you go. 64 Skulltool. There you have it. All right. We're going to go ahead and unequip the boots right now and go ahead and swim. And, and swim when swim here because we, we, we just, we just got to do it. There we go. Go ahead and veer off to that left side there and grip onto that ledge. There we are. All right, look how wonderful. Yeah, I was gonna totally hook shot that eye when in reality I used the bow, but hey. And this is a chest that we're gonna go ahead and use a warping point off of right here after we pick it up. That map looks like a snake, <laughs> not gonna lie. But hey, this is another small key, so go ahead and pick it up right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and return back to our warping point again. And we're gonna go ahead and use it here again, <laughs> again. I use that word for emphasis because, hey, this is the Water Temple. All right, what we're going to go ahead and do here is go back to Rudo's room on the bottom east, and we're going to go ahead and lower the water all the way again, like we did at the, very, at the very beginning of the dungeon. Let's go ahead and sink all the way to the bottom again. Go ahead and just climb on up here, lower the water all the way down again. All right, there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and drop down. You know where we uh, raise the water halfway? Yeah, we're going to go in there, because there is a skull tool that does require the long shot in particular. So go ahead and go into this room right here, and we're going to go ahead and get him. As soon as I equip that long shot. No, no. Right over here. Equip and latch. There we are. Let's actually pick him up first before we play the song. Hey, 65th Skulltula, how's it going? We're gonna pick you up right now. Gimme. Gimme, gimme what you got. And there you are. Alright. Okay, and with this, we're gonna go ahead and equip our bow here, because there is an eye switch, rather, just outside of this door. Okay. And where is he? Where is he hiding? Where is he hiding? Because you're, you're gonna need the long shot and the bow equipped at the same time, because you're gonna need it. Uh, there is a clock on this eye switch, so just be aware. Uh, there it is. Right here. Go ahead and shoot that. Open that gate. There you are. So you know that block that I kind of pulled off to the side in the very beginning? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and push it this time. Push it, push it, push it. There you go. Not all the way, but hey. We're going to go ahead and get the key on the very right of it, and... Yeah, second small key. And we're going to go ahead and jump down to our right, because there's going to be an area with some stingers in it. We're going to go ahead and kill those right now. As soon as we go ahead and jump on out of here, uh, there we are. Down here, all the way. Go ahead and throw your boots on, and get ready to get stung a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah. I, 
I didn't mean to pause again. Leave it alone. Anyway, spike traps. Leave me alone. It's it's, it's none of your concern right now. Leave me alone. It ain't your business. Anyway, drop down and go back up. Yeah, it's it's repetitive. I know. This is the water temple. Nobody said it's gonna be nice. Yeah. Go ahead and hook shot on our way on up, or long shot rather. I can't use the word hook shot anymore because it just doesn't make any sense. But hey, unlock the door, and here we are. Ugh, give me a minute to take out these tektites because I know they're just going to get in the way. Okay, so go ahead and swim your way on across and avoid the cocoa puffs because I don't, I'm not very cuckoo for them in this episode. Uh, go ahead and run your way all across the water and go ahead and climb your way on up. And this is going to be the stinger room right here. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, go ahead and squeal at me because I, I ain't going to pay attention. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally missing up the ass so far. Uh, there he is. Die, please. Where's that stinger? I see you right over there. There you are. There you are. And there you are. Health. Health, because why not? Um, there is a couple of bumble walls here, so go ahead and bust these on out. And I, I kind of figured, look at that wall. It has a crack in it, right? And look at this one. It's kind of like, ugh. Why is it, like, oddly programmed? Uh, I don't know. Just the way it is. But go ahead and bomb that and bomb this. And we're going to go ahead and jump across and... Push this block all the way to the east. The east. The east-east. East? I thought you said weast. That's west, Patrick. You're fired. Anyway, go ahead roll on over here and make a gap for it very easy all the way across three poles that should do it that should do it very very simple all right go ahead and push this all the way till it hits that switch in the water and we can go on up and finish the rest of the dungeon. We don't have long left of, it, left of it to go, so hey, let's take faith in knowing that. And there we go. Simple as that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and climb up, and we're going to I'm going to assume this is going to be a yellow switch beyond this door. Yep, right there. And there's going to be a few spouts just kind of chilling our way uh, across this room. Hopefully I don't hit those tech tights. Um, go ahead and jump across that way and that way. No need to fall down or anything like that. So there you go. Now there's going to be a 66 Skaltula right across in here. Uh, let's go ahead and put the boots on so we don't get washed away by the rabbits. And yeah, easy. Avoid that Cocoa Puff, because he's going to be in the way, I'm sure. And this is the 66th... 66th Skaltula. Go ahead and pick him up. Cocoa Puff! Eh. Well, I, I didn't get taken with him, so it's not optimal. And this is where th that extra key comes into play, because believe me, you do not want to be missing it here. Trust me. Go ahead and remove the boots. Ouch. Alright. With that, go ahead and unlock the door. And boss key time, baby. Very easy peasy. Alright. Amazing. We're going to go ahead and leave and long shot our way out of here. From my understanding. Actually, you know what? No. Let's go ahead and return back to the warping point. Okay, so with that and the big key out of the way, we're going to go ahead and raise the water level all the way with the water level being raised halfway I'm gonna go back to where we were on our way to Dark Link and raise it all the way up so give me just a second so if you go ahead and raise the water back up like we were just on our way to Dark Link um, we're gonna go back into that escalator room but we're not gonna go into the room after it um, but in the room itself, uh, there's going to be a Skull in there that does require the long shot, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up right now. Alright, 
Keese, uh, leave me alone, because you're not, you're not concerning me at the moment. Hey, Skeltula. I see you chilling over there. You having a vacation? Not anymore, because that is the 67th Skeltula. Pick him up. All right. Let's go ahead and check our map here for any stragglers, which I don't think there are any. We have the boss key, the dungeon map, and the compass. No remaining chests. Yep, that was pretty much a clean water temple. All right. To the boss door we go. All the way over to the left. And off to oblivion. You know, the water temple is a point of just... Uh, it's therapeutic. It's, it's brutal. It's crazy, but it's therapeutic. It's awesome, but I love it. Now, with this spike trap room, you want to go ahead and wait for the bottom one to be halfway off to the right. Watch. Then you start running. Because timing that up does kind of take some kind of skill-ish. Not really, but hey, it is what it is. Boss time. So there's Gatorade in here after all. LSP, look out. That is not normal water over there. Giant Aquatic Amoeba, Morpha. And this is actually not bad at all. And what I will actually do is use the Big Oron Sword here. Uh, I will make an exception um, for this boss because it's going to be much easier with it, uh, I will say. But hey, uh, I did make this video as a baseline for those who have not got the Big Oron Sword yet, but go ahead and have it ready if you do. Uh, and wait for him to drop down his tentacle and go ahead and drag out that brain out of his arm. And go ahead and Schwack it up. And you want to wait for that uh, apparatus in its arm to keep still and then long shot it. So there you go. And you want to keep your distance away from that arm, otherwise it's going to scoop you up and throw you across the room and take quite a bit of health away. So, Oh, got a double hit there. That was pretty good. And it will double up its arms to like kind of throw you off balance and uh, trick you. So, with that, the Water Temple is done. That was so fun. But we are looking for our heart container right now. Where does that thing happen to be? You over here? There he is. And there we go. 16 hearts and we only have four more to get. And we're done. Let's go ahead and get our medallion, boys.
LSP. I would have expected no less from the man that I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think that I can offer that now. I have to guard the Water Temple as a Sage of Water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Oh, can I? <laughs> Princess Zelda, she's alive, I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. You receive the water medallion. Rudo awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks. Okay? As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. LSP, you did it. Did Ruta want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, LSP. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil- I did! She didn't, she just left! <laughs> Man, once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Link totally saw her on top of that tree, or him, uh, because it is Zelda, after all, that's inside of Sheik's body, but hey, we're going to go ahead and end it off right here. There are some collectibles that I can get right now, but I'm going to go ahead and save them for the next episode so I can like have a fresh start, pretty much, but that was the Water Temple. I hope that I was able to help some people out and kind of like debunk all the misinformation that's kind of being spread around about this dungeon, but hey, it is not soft lockable. If you have the courage and truth and power and wisdom, go for it. It is all up to you. With that, in the next episode, we're going to take on some more collectible getting, and that is that. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment, or anything else, and peace out, everyone. <laughs>